Here's how I did this cutout collage effect. Jump into DaVinci and I will show you how it's done. First, you'll need a video clip of a subject or you doing an action that you want to cut out. In my case, I just walked across a wall looking a little goofy. There's my clip. Once you have that in the timeline, you're going to open it up in the color page. If you don't have a node, you can add one using option S and then you are going to right click an empty space and you're going to hit add an alpha output. Once that's added, you're going to grab this blue square here and connect it to the alpha output. With this node selected, you're going to jump into your mask, which is this little person right here, and you are going to make sure the plus dropper is selected and you're going to select your subject. Once your subject is selected, I like better, just does a better job masking. You're going to click this and then you're going to track it back and forth using these arrows. I just like to go through and kind of check, make sure the track went all the way through and nothing picked up that was weird. It looks good to me. You're going to jump back in your timeline and just check. Okay, this all looks good. You are going to right click this clip and you're going to click render in place. These settings, I just use the default render. Once it's rendered, jump back into the color page. We're going to take this node and we're going to add an alpha output again within here. You're going to connect that again. And then we're going to go in effects type in 3D keyer, drag and drop that on. And then we are gonna undo the invert and we are going to subtract, make sure it's all cleared out. And then we're gonna hit the plus and we're gonna grab the background again. Our subject isn't selected, just the background. We're trying to key that out. And then we're gonna jump back into our timeline and you should see a completely black screen. The final step is to go online and find any cool textures, backgrounds, photos. I looked for ones that were kind of all red, black and white. So that had some correlation here. You can kind of see I just took screenshots of different textures and whatever else. You take those and you, you drop them all in the timeline, one to two frames long, typically combine them together, and then you'll drag them under your clip. And if you did all of that right, you should have the walking effect. Drop any questions for me or any other tutorials you want me to do.